This video of a Buffalo firefighter limp and rushed on a stretcher battling last week's blaze on Frankfurt Avenue is an image that's been all too common in the last week amongst Buffalo's bravest. 20 Buffalo City firefighters have been injured in the line of duty in the last week alone, fighting flames during the hottest days of summer. There was a lot of things, uh, contributing factors, Hannah. We've had, uh, what, five two alarm fires within the last week or so, actually within the last three or four days. Buffalo Fire Commissioner Bill Ronaldo says about half the firefighters suffered heat exhaustion. Injuries have ranged from sprains, strains to minor burns. It's part of the course for, for, the, uh, for the weather and the amount of work that's been done. Commissioner Ronaldo tells me those injured were not just rookies, some veterans and firefighters with three to four years experience. All are expected to be okay. It's a dirty, dangerous job. And I commend all the firefighters that go out there and do it every day. Both the fire commissioner and the Buffalo Professional Firefighters Union agree. Firefighters need to be in top shape to deal with the conditions they're faced with. We've tried to negotiate some level of wellness and physical training with the city of Buffalo, and we haven't had much success in getting them to agree. Vincent Van Tresca, president of Local 282, says the union has tried to put together some type of physical wellness package stipend to entice firefighters to exercise regularly and use the equipment in the firehouse, but he says efforts for that have fallen on deaf ears with the city. Even some type of uh, stipend or something to say, hey, take great care of yourself, in the long run, this is going to save us money. Ventresca says when firefighters are exercising and taking care of their bodies, the amount of injuries goes down. Commissioner Ronaldo says his administration is open to the idea of talking to the union about a physical wellness package. It could be, could be very beneficial, and that's why we're having these ongoing talks. Uh, a lot of it is technique, too, you know, different, using different techniques to do different uh, things we do on the fire ground. So to teach that, along with general physical fitness, I think it would be, yeah, I think it would be great. Again, all of the injured firefighters have either been treated and released from the hospital or are expected to be okay. Regarding the physical wellness initiative, Commissioner Ronaldo tells me he's in ongoing talks with the union. We're live in the studio tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.